So this is the third and final video in the mini series to support the guide, the ultimate guide to picking the best NLP course for you. My name is Laura Evans and I'm the founder and lead trainer here at Unleash Your Potential, helping people like you to unleash their potential in business and life. Um, and this is the third video. Uh, do check out the others if you haven't seen them already um, on how to pick the best course for you. I've already covered uh, getting clear on why you want to do a course. I've covered the various levels and the boards within our NLP. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how to pick the provider and the trainer that's right for you. Now, the first thing I'm gonna say is there are typically two questions that I get asked regularly, and they're the wrong questions to ask if you wanna pick the best NLP provider for you. The first question that we get asked is, where's the course? Um, and we always train in Cardiff. And then we'll get some people that go, great, I'm happy to travel to you. And others that go, ah, no, I want to pick a course that's close to me. You see, the thing is, do you want a course that's close to you or do you want the best course for you? Um, now, we've been discussing in all the other videos some of the considerations that you need to have. And I've detailed here in the ultimate guide um, some of the things. You see, this isn't an investment like an annual holiday. You know, do it once. And if it doesn't work out quite OK, then don't worry about it. Next year, we'll pick a better place to go on holiday. With NLP training, you're only ever going to do this once. And so you need to make the right investment for you. And sometimes to get the best trainer for you, you're going to need to travel. Now, being away from home does have its advantages because you get the opportunity to completely focus on you and your development and learning NLP without all of the distractions that happen every night you go home if you're traveling locally. The other thing to consider is if you book far enough in advance, then actually what you can do is get some really good deals on Airbnb and some of the uh, budget hotels in order to reduce your cost. So it might not be as expensive as you first thought. So location is in fact not one of the main criteria in order to pick a provider. The other question that we get asked a lot is how much is it? And price and discounts are also not the right place to start. Now, listen, I know you're going to need to know how much it is, and I totally get that. But actually, you know, do you want a discount or do you want a great course? You know, there are some NLP providers that might artificially raise their prices in order to show you they're giving you 50% off and you feel like you get a deal when actually, um, you know, that isn't a real discount. I mean, it's not just NLP. It happens right across the board, right, when we're buying things. Um, also be careful about paying really high prices. So some of the, you know, big names that go to some of the bigger providers, like you might be enticed to spend, for example, £3,000 on a practitioner course because you think you're going to be trained by one of the big names. You'll often find that they don't train the whole thing. You'll often find that they only turn up for maybe one or two days or, or an element of the course. So just because you're paying a high price, it doesn't always mean you're getting the best quality or indeed you're getting the trainer that you think you thought you were going to be trained by. So always find out exactly how many days each trainer is training if there are multiple trainers. Um, the other thing to think about then um, is also do ask about discounts for multiple course bookings. So many NLP training providers will give a discount if you book more than one course. We certainly do. Um, and so that will help with affordability. The other thing to say around money, if that's a consideration for you, is make sure you ask if there is any interest free payment plan options. Um, we and a number of other providers will allow you to split up the cost of your course into monthly payments. Just check it's interest free though and that you're not having to pay more um, as a result of paying uh, via instalment. Um, so expensive versus cheap is again not always the best criteria to use. Now, when it comes to selecting the trainer themselves, some providers will have a variety of trainers um, that train within their company. So again, you're also then going to need to decide which trainer you want to be trained by. And I've created a checklist for you to use to check out each trainer. 
So asking questions, for example, like what's their breadth of experience of training? Uh, not necessarily just NLP, but actually how many years experience have they got in, in training and delivering information in this kind of format? You know, are they qualified and certified um, by one of the big four boards? Um, you know, are they a busy trainer? Like, are they doing quite a few courses or, or not? And if they're not, you know, are they going to get rusty? I don't know. Like, how do they use NLP themselves and, and all of those things? Like, check them out online. Go Google them. Go and look at their podcasts. Look at their YouTube videos and really get a feel for them. You're going to sit in front of this person for upward of seven days. Like, do you want to sit in front of them? Like, do you like their style? Do you like the way they do things? Um, and if so, YouTube podcasts and things like that are a great way of checking out people's personality and whether that's going to work for you. Then this is what everybody wants to get their hands on. This is the checklist. Um, so what I've done is I've created a complete checklist of all the questions I think you should ask any provider. Now, I've pre-populated the, the information for my company, Initial Potential. That's not to say you can't call us and ask us the questions. Please do. Um, but the, if you go through that checklist, you know you're going to be asking the right types of, types of questions. For example, ask the provider what's the ratio of students to trainers and assistants um you know if you've got one trainer to 40 students you're not going to get much support if you've got one trainer to let's say 20 students and they've got an assistant that helps you that's a ratio of one trainer or assistant to every 10 students that's going to give you much more support much more opportunity to ask questions uh, we've talked about trainer credentials um you know ask them how's the course delivered where is it delivered um is it modular is it immersive um group sizes like how many is your maximum number you know sitting in a room you as one of 500 people is a very different experience than being one of 20 or one of 14 uh, for example um so again you know you really need to think about what's going to be best for you i know i wouldn't want to be in a room with one of 200 people um i wouldn't be able to ask the questions I wouldn't be able to get involved, speak to the trainer. Um, you know, for me, that wouldn't work. Maybe for you, it might. Um, you know, what's the ongoing support and community and things? And of course, questions around price. When you get the price, though, make sure they give you a price, including VAT. Um, don't let them stick a VAT on the end when you've decided you want to train with them. And then you find out they're 20% more expensive than you think they were. And a ton of other questions. So this checklist is so valuable in terms of making sure you get all the information. And then you pick the best provider for you. And if it's not us, I wish you well. I honestly do. Because if you've made the right decision for you, then that's what I want. If it's us, brilliant. We'd love to have you on board. Um, but you need to make the decision with your eyes open with all of the information in front of you. Now, you're going to ring each provider and you're going to speak to them on the phone. And a lot of the time people sit there and go, well, what do I ask? Um, I know that's how I felt. And so what I've also done for you is included the ultimate list of questions. Now, you're not going to want to go through every single one of these, but there is a list of questions for you to consider before you pick the phone up and a list of questions that you could ask the provider to ensure that you're getting the information you need to make the right decision for you. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the last in the three part series of videos to support the ultimate guide to picking the best course for you. I genuinely hope that this guide and these videos support you to make an informed decision and a decision that's right for you. If you've got any questions, please feel free to pick up the phone. You'll get us on 02920. 023311 or if you'd rather drop us an email info at unleashyourpotential.org.uk and we'd love to answer your questions and we'd love it if you rang up and asked some really great questions that you found here in this guide too so i wish you well and before i go please make sure that you hit subscribe and the notification bell so that you're notified when we release new videos here on the channel and I wish you well.